What's going on everyone? I'm Chase and welcome to another basic movie review channel. So let's talk about one. So the one I want to talk about is Bullet Train. Now this one comes to us from Sony and it hits theaters this Friday, August 5th, August 5th, if you choose to watch this film, regardless of what I'm about to say. So what is this movie about? Five assassins aboard a fast moving bullet train find out their missions have something in common. So, you know, going into this, I actually didn't see a lot of promotional material for it. I knew a lot about this movie through someone that uh, I, I know as a friend that worked on this film. And so I would get stories from them uh, uh, every so often. And it was just really kind of fun to hear their perspective on like Brad Pitt and like the cast and just the environment. And it seemed like a really fun set to work on. So it made me excited to watch the film. I saw like maybe 30 seconds of the trailer when it dropped. I wanted to kind of keep it a secret. So, and I want to be surprised when I saw it actually in theaters play out in front of me. So I was like, I'm good. Uh, I, I don't need to watch any trailers. And I heard from CinemaCon when they uh, previewed like the first like 10, 18 minutes or so that people liked it. So, hey, and I like David Leach as a director, uh, his contributions to the John Wick franchise with action and uh, Atomic Blonde and Deadpool 2. The guy, the guy knows what he's doing. Like he knows how to choreograph a movie. It's like a song and dance to him. The action scenes, they they, they flow. the The stories are are uh, entertaining and uh, fun to watch. The dialogue is just uh, it, it's it's really um, What's going on, everyone? I'm Chase, and welcome to another basic movie review channel. So let's talk about one. And the movie I want to talk about now is Bullet Train. Now, this one comes to us from Sony Pictures, and it hits theaters this Friday, August 5th, if you choose to watch this film, regardless of what I'm about to say. So what is this movie about? Five assassins aboard a fast-moving bullet train find out their missions have something in common. So, you know, going into this, I... Uh, knew someone that worked on this film on set. And so it was really fun to hear their story, um, you know, just day to day, and how Brad Pitt was and the crew and just the environment. And it felt like a fun vibe. So I was like, cool. I am even more excited for this film now. And I like director David Leach. I like his other films, uh, Atomic Blonde, Deadpool 2. And I like his contribution to the John Wick franchise, uh, really establishing its own identity with its choreography and action. It's really really awesome like what he has brought to action in general over the past few years i never watched any trailers i think i watched maybe 20 seconds of the first trailer but i stopped myself and i was like hold on i want to watch this play out in front of me in real time i don't want to know anything else about it it seems like it could have a fun little mystery bent to it um i just want to be i just want to be surprised so i kind of went into it blind Saw the film. Don't really care for it. Uh, in terms of rewatchability, I have no desire to watch this film ever again. Unlike other David Leach films where like, I want to watch it and appreciate the choreography a little bit more, the action, see how the camera uh, was utilized in this scene or how this was broken down and edited. Like, I can always go back and watch a David Leach film and dissect it from a, a nerd filmmaking perspective. But for this one, even just as pure entertainment, I was quite exhausted and quite bored by it. And so I appreciate a one location type of movie. Everything is on this train. There's five people. Um, we get to know a little bit more of their backstories. We get to know how they interact with each other. The action scenes are there. It's bloody. It's violent. You know, it, there's stuff there for people to enjoy. But I think the biggest thing for me is that this film felt like 400 meter sprint that was uneven and it, the, the pacing was just off. So obviously, look at me. I'm a big dude. I don't run. So this is the best analogy I can come up with. It's like watching someone doing a 400 meter dash. They sprint for 200, 225 meters. Cool. This is your rhythm. I got you. Then they slow down to a snail's pace for about 75 meters. Then they pick it back up again for like 25, 30 meters, and then, and then that's it. And then they stop, and then they just kind of crawl towards the finish line. They kind of just roll over the finish line 
the credits roll, and that's it. And so the inconsistency in pacing, I think what really does this film in, and it doesn't really help that, let me look up the two hours and six minutes. To be honest with you, it felt longer. It felt like a two and a half hour long movie. Um, so David Leach's like own personality and spin to his films and uh, his franticness when it comes to camera work and editing and stunts, that's always usually, uh, that's always usually, that's usually been his move. It felt like he was tame in this. I didn't really care for any of the action sequences. I thought they were quite brief. There was real, no creativity to them. Uh, a couple of the kills were cool. But other than that, I felt like this was David Leach light, which is weird because this was R rated. He should have just went full out. And like, yes, it is bloody and it's violent, but I'm talking more of like the stunt work and the, the uh, intensity of the characters fist fighting or throwing each other across the, the train. I didn't feel any of that. I didn't feel the weight of the situation. It just felt very light and kind of airy. And I'm like, this, this doesn't have the same um, oomph as a David Leach, David Leach film does. So I, I, I kind of felt like he, he was tame a little bit. And the pacing of the story was off. And by the time we got to the finish line, I was just exhausted from watching this. And also, there was a lot of interesting choices when it, when it comes to humor. A lot of this humor actually takes place in brief uh, flashbacks or brief uh, scenes that happen before the scene that we're watching now. And it shows like a, a brief clip and it cuts back to uh, current time. It's a weird way to establish comedic timing and the humor, and it, none of it worked for me. And I thought uh, they overutilized that uh, joke quite a bit, just flipping back and forth uh, between um, situations that characters were just in. And I realized that Dave, David Lynch has a dark sense of humor. Um, I can see that. I appreciate it. But in this one, it, none of it landed for me in, in terms of humor or lightness or a darkly comedic angle to it. Um, so at that point, you strip that away. You're just looking at a, a purely violent film that is exhausting. And that's not good. Um, you know, I didn't know this film was based on a book until the credits started rolling. But I probably the book is a thousand times better. Um, I just felt, I felt nothing to the characters. I felt nothing about their backstories. Um, there were a couple scenes that were super absurd to where it just, it took me out of it completely. Now, I don't mind suspending disbelief if you establish that in the beginning of your film and that's the rules for this universe, but you didn't. And so there's a couple things in this film where I'm like, come on, come on, what, what are we doing this for? So, um, yeah, I, I think I appreciate David Leach for trying. Uh, there was a couple of things that that worked for me in terms of like performances and and certain characters and maybe you know uh maybe like one fight scene towards the end which was cool other than that i i just i have no reason to believe that david leach directed this film it doesn't feel like one of his films um so yeah there's all that performance wise this movie's stacked. So even if you are slightly bored with this movie, I think someone's going to grapple onto someone in this film as uh, entertaining to watch and at least carrying, carrying them through the movie. And wh who did that for me? It was Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry. I absolutely love both of their uh, characters. They play brothers in the film. Their chemistry is off the charts. Their back and forth was perfect. Uh, couldn't understand their dialogue sometimes. I'll get to that in just a second. It might have been a theater problem, but once again, we'll get that into a, into a second. Uh, I can't speak tonight. Anyways, their chemistry was off the charts. I really love their banter back and forth. They needed to be in another movie ASAP. Um, Brad Pitt is fine. He's the lead in this film. He's just okay at best. And uh, I know he's got a lot more charm and charisma, and he can lean in more into the comedy. Um, bit more but this one just felt yeah i don't know there was just something off about his performance where like it felt like he was trying a little too hard and i'm like i know brad's got better timing than that so i don't know it was very strange um and then everyone else in the film including like joey king 
Um, uh, I'm scrolling through the list here real time. Sorry. Um, Andrew Koji, I really liked. Uh, Hir uh, Hiroyuki uh, Sonata, loved him too. Um, and I think that's about it before I start getting into like spoiler territory. Um, but uh, also, Bad Bunny is in this. Was this his audition to be El Moretto? Moretto? I, I forgot how, uh, how to pronounce that character's name. Um, was this his audition to be in that film, the superhero film for uh, Sony? Because you know what? I'm a uh, I'm gonna eat crow in this one. He wasn't bad. So if he wants to lead a movie, go for it. Because honestly, when I heard that news uh, that he was leading a Sony film, uh, like a superhero film, I was like, the singer? You know what? He's got chops. I'll I'll I'll, I'll let him do it. So. Um, Logan Lerman's also in this, uh, and that's where I'm going to stop before I get into, uh, some of the spoilers or cameos if you wanted to see this film. Everyone is trying, uh, their best to make this as, as fun and ridiculous as possible, uh, and they are just doing it for our entertainment, and I have nothing but respect for all of these actors, but my favorite performances were definitely, uh, the brothers, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson and Bri Brian Tyree Henry. Um... So I talked about uh, how the stunts and the uh, the action was a bit lacking. Didn't really feel like there was any personality. Felt like we were um, uh, exhausted by the time we got to the finish line. Uh, the pacing was a bit off. Like some of the performances. And my last thing I will say. I've had this happen a couple times. And I can't really tell if it's a theater situation or if it's a movie situation. But the sound mixing in this film was atrocious. Any time that when there was a song that came on, it was blasted to, let's just say for argument's sake, uh, or not argument's sake, but just, uh, just so I can show you the scale. It was like they were blasting the film on a, on a 10 decibel scale at a 10, sometimes an 11, breaking uh, the barrier. And then the dialogue would be at a comfortable three or four, and then... Uh, everything else would be at, like at a six or seven. I feel like everything was just mixed poorly and it wasn't all like cohesive. So anytime when music would play, it would actually drown out some of the dialogue. And I was like, I, I don't know if this is a movie thing or if this is a theater situation, but that was annoying. So don't know if it's a movie thing, but uh, I thought the sound mixing on this was pretty rough. So um, yeah. Listen, if you're looking for a, a violent, R-rated action film, the you know top build cast, sure. But I'd say like at a matinee, if you truly want to see this in theaters, if not, just wait until you get home, uh, wait until it uh, goes on streaming or PVOD or something. It's not that urgent to get to the theater, but if you are looking to get out and watch something this weekend, go to a matinee. That's as far as I'll recommend it. So. Yeah, that was a lot to talk about. But I, listen, does this put uh, distrust in David Leach films from here on out? No, not at all. I think uh, he, he's done very well up until this point. I'm going to continue to watch uh, his films because I think he's really got a, a unique voice in the action genre. And uh, hey, listen, uh, when there's a lot of really bad action films out there and you're one of the few that are standing out, you're, like, you're one of the top three in the industry right now, I'm going to watch whatever you do. So. That is my review of uh, Bullet Train. Please let me know down below what you thought of the film, whether you liked it, loved it, hated it, thought it was okay, all that stuff. Leave it down in the comments down below. Like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more movie reviews. I am Chase Lee. I will see you guys for the next one. Bye-bye.